Hello Internet, welcome to tutorial number 13 of NS2 learning series. Much anticipated tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make a wireless network using Network Simulator Script Generator 2.1. You already know how to make a wired simulation and make it run using NSG 2.1. Uh, let us begin then okay so let's start an SG this is the opening screen of NSG 2.1 we already are familiar with this screen uh, we go to scenario last time we selected wired scenario this time we are going to select new wireless scenario okay in the wireless scenario the options on the top are no different but hmm, once we make nodes okay I'm gonna show you how we do that I'm going to make a network of um, let us say I'll make a network of three nodes once you click on the blank space a node is created you click on uh, you right click on it and you go to waypoint now you need to mention the start time of this node the start time would refer to as uh, the time when this node would start to make movement and you would need to tell the destination coordinates for example this node is currently placed at 153 432 I want this node to move to 500 and 500 could be any value it doesn't really matter now the speed here is 20 That's, this is 20 meters per second I'm going to add it and click done then I'm going to create another node again right click waypoint the starting point let us say is 1 oh, let's change it to 2 I want this node to move to 600 and 450 add 20 meters per second then finally I'm going to create another node that would also start at time 1 would try to move to 200 300 at a speed of 30 let us add this okay that's about it uh, now we move to the second option on the top which is agent I'm going to select node 0 and attach a TCP agent here I'm going to select UDP agent here I'm going to select um, a TCP sync here I'm going to select a UDP null here then I'm going to connect this TCP with the sync 2 this UDP with the null 3 looks good okay uh, you can set the agent parameters here let's not change them they look good to me okay everything looks good let's move on to the third tab on the top which is application uh, I'm going to attach an FTP agent on top of TCP and I'll keep this as I would want this to try 
transmit for five seconds okay then a CBR traffic to use UDP and let me just increase the transmission time of CBR traffic as well okay let's go on to the next one parameters now this is important simulation time total simulation time is 10 seconds trace file is out dot trace nam file is out dot nam and we have a whole gamut of options for wireless the channel type the propagation model the physical logical link layer type mac layer type q management so on and so forth so we can choose the routing protocol here and then channel so you specify the bandwidth the data rate receiving threshold etc here let's click done parameters are done then we go to the TCL our TCL file is ready They're ready to be used I'll click on save as I'll make a new folder somewhere here I'll make a new folder by the name of tutorial 13 TCL. Okay, I think it's done. Let's go to that folder. Let's run this ns2 file again the command is ns space file name dot tcl how cool is that we have a wireless scenario in hand let's see if it works all the nodes are initializing it is a 10 second simulation total time is 10 I'm going to make it a little faster now you can see the movements in the node node uh, 0 and 2 they start to move at time 1 and node 1 has started to move at time is equal to 2 second ok they are they, they are moving towards their destination at their specified speeds uh, I guess node 1 was at 20 meters per second node, uh, node 0 was at 20 meters per second node 1 was at 30 meters per second node 2 was at 20 meters per second um, we really can't um, figure out uh, by just looking at the simulation as to which node is moving faster than which node but anyhow uh, okay cool simulation is done we've gotten the output files let's see how dot trace file okay so that is how you make a wireless simulation using NSG 2.1 hope this tutorial helped in the next tutorial we are going to uh, install a software which will analyze our output files and give us graphs and uh, meaningful uh, information 
very easily uh, so stay tuned and if this tutorial helped click on the like subscribe and don't forget to comment have a good day bye bye